Okay, guys, welcome to MT4101 for Team Apple, Team iPad. This is the MetaTrader 4 application for your iPad. You're looking at an iPad Pro, but it's pretty much the same for every iPad platform. The MT4 app is going to operate a little bit differently than it does on the phone. You get some advantages here. Obviously, we're looking at four charts simultaneously instead of only being able to see one screen. And I have this view here because I want you to be able to see where I'm pressing the buttons rather than the screens just changing around on you. So I hope the glare isn't too bad and you guys can follow along as I show you how to take advantage of this platform to trade your foreign currency on the Forex market. So starting off, first thing you're going to need to do is log into your demo or live account, which is this icon right up here all the way at the top in the left hand corner. So you're going to hit that person. Uh, I'm logged into demo accounts for privacy purposes. But what you'll want to do is hit the addition button. And once you get to this new account screen, if you have a demo account, this is not the selection you make. If you've already opened a demo account with a broker, you're actually going to log into existing account either way. And you're going to search your broker's name. If it's a demo account, you want to select a demo server. But if it's a live account, there should be a difference between the two. And obviously you would select live server for your live account, demo server for your demo account. Just make sure you specify because if you're in one or the other the wrong way, it's not going to be able to log in. So then you would simply enter your login ID and your trader password and hit the sign in button and you're good to go. Uh, you can leave this save password on. That way, every time you open your iPad, even if you close out of the app or turn it off and turn it back on, you'll already be logged into your account when you get started. So that's number one. And that is what you're gonna use. This tab all the way up here at the top four is to switch between your accounts or add new accounts. And as many accounts as you add, you'll be able to scroll through them and simply press it without having to have that password and login ID to put in every single time because it'll be saved for you. You can switch back and forth between accounts fairly quickly. So the next tab down underneath the account tab is going to be the trade tab this is going to pull well this is your order screen tab so it's going to pull up the pairs that you have on your watch list and obviously the plus button up here right above the prices is where you can add new pairs so you would simply select a pair that's not already on the watch list and hit the add button if you wanted to add that pair to your watch list, it'll go down to the bottom. And if you hit the pencil icon up here, you can actually organize these, move them around. Maybe you want your favorite pair all the way at the top. And if you want to get rid of anything you're not using, you would simply select it and then hit the trash can icon up there at the top to get rid of that. And then hit the pencil icon again to get back to your regular watch list. You can hit this button again to get rid of that and just get back to your chart view uh, don't really use this screen too much as for uh i guess probably the mt5 platform if i were to guess to communicate with the community but the fourth option down is your execution your trade order tab so when you're ready to enter a trade you can actually hit this have access to your trade terminal and still be able to view the charts on four different time frames. It's a huge advantage of trading on the iPad because normally when you have your phone in your hand, you're switching back and forth between the chart and the order screen, trying to do live analysis to determine if this is your entry point or not. So it can make things a little bit more difficult, especially if you're analyzing on multiple time frames like I am here. I will often 
have the exact same pair on the chart four different times so I can monitor four different time frames and get a better picture of what's going on. Uh, up here at the top, you'll be able to select what pair you want to enter an order for. Always pay attention to what pair is up at the top because sometimes you can have a pair left over from an order you enter before and not notice and the lot size might not even actually calculate the same for that pair. But if you are hitting the trade option from the chart, you can always rest assured it will bring up the pair that you have on the chart that you're trying to execute a trade for. Uh, right here, right underneath the select pair option you have, it's going to say market execution by default. But once you touch that, it brings up your pending orders. Uh, if you don't know how pending orders work, I do have a video. You can go on my watch list to Forex Basics and find the pending orders video that will tell you exactly how to utilize each one of these orders. But every time you select a pending order, the biggest difference you're going to notice is it's going to ask you for an entry price because the order is not being executed immediately. It's going to be executed once the price reaches whatever you enter on this line. So whenever you select a pending order, you're going to be asked for entry price. If not, you're just going to be asked for a stop loss and take profit. Now your lot size, next selection down, this is where you determine what the value of your position is based on how many pips the market moves. So you would simply multiply the value of your lot size, say for instance here at 50 cents per pip on GBPJPY, roughly 50 cents per pip i know if the price moves two pips that's going to cost me about a dollar if the spread is two pips it's going to cost me about a dollar so this is where you do your uh, position size calculations to figure out how much you want to risk and what your profit goal is you would simply enter in a price on each line to represent your cutoff point on the stop loss and your cutoff point for profit and then enter that buy or sell option so next let's get to the chart itself now more than likely when you first open up mt4 on ipad you're only going to have one chart option you'll actually want to hit the uh, add button to add optional charts you can have up to four windows and then once you have a maximum of four windows open which will be displayed down here with this icon down here right above your trade terminal in the bottom right hand corner you can hit this and select different options whether you want your charts displayed horizontally whether you want your charts displayed vertically or you want to tile them which you'll be familiar with if you use MT4 on the desktop. But when you hit Tau, this will actually give you some different layout options. So you hit Tau again, the first one is center, first one is top, bottom three, medium squares. Uh, my favorite is actually this setup right here where I have my three lower time frames over here on the left and then one higher time frame that I wanna monitor, monitor over here on the right hand side on a larger chart uh, it just happens to make sense for me but of course you're going to customize this to your own preference and what makes the most sense for you what works best for you what helps you analyze what's going on with the price the quickest and most effectively so that's how you fix your chart layout of course you come down here on the left hand side you have your cursor so you can turn this on and off and if you have it on whichever chart you have selected which right now I have the right hand chart over here selected I can move the cursor around to get price and other data based on where I'm selected so I can figure out what time it is what the price was and whatever uh, data I'm tracking with my technical indicators will also be displayed for wherever the cursor is on the graph. And right below the cursor option, you have your candlestick option. So this is like a quick uh, customized 
option for your charts. You can select candlesticks, bar chart, or line, uh, whether you want your volumes on down here at the bottom or not, whether you want your ask price as well as the bid price, period, separators for when the market opens and closes, and trade levels will show volume as well. So your data window is the window I was showing you with the cursor, and then OH lc is this data up here at the top of the chart which is giving you live price action information and one click trading uh, you can use that on ipad i don't because we already basically have one click trading right here just pulling up the trade terminal on the side so I didn't want to add that on the iPad, but that is an option for you if you just wanted to have one click trading right there on the chart without having to bring the uh, trade terminal over. But once again, it's fairly simple. You can still view the chart. So I like to use the default setup for that. And then of course, over here, when you come to colors, you can customize the way the chart looks as far as let's say for instance your mind worked like mine and you wanted your green candles to go up and your red candles to go down that way you're not trying to figure out which direction the candle was going last when you're looking at the charts you would simply make your bar up and your bull candle green and your bar down and bear candle red and then your charts will kind of mimic mine so you use the colors to differentiate different things it just makes it easier to understand what's going on when you're looking at the chart now your f button and you also get all of these options here when you touch the chart as well as your time frames on that circle and your settings bar to change all of the settings but over here on the left hand side you can hit the F button to add your indicators. And some go on the main window up at the top. And of course, your oscillators will go in an oscillator window below. But each indicator is going to have a custom setting already set on default for you for what the default MT4 settings are. And if you are especially a scalper, but if you're a technical trader or you like indicators, you're going to want to experiment with this data to see how you can make it more effective for your strategy. Of course, using indicators on default is pretty much like broadcasting your game plan before football Sunday. Nobody wants their playbook in the opposing coach's hand. So if you're using indicators on default, just keep that in mind. When you go inside, you can customize these to show you different data other traders aren't looking at. So don't settle with the bare minimum. You got a large window of indicators and probably a thousand different ways you could use each one. Learn how they work. Learn how to use them to your advantage. It'll make you a lot of money. Now, the shape icon is where you can draw your lines horizontal lines trend lines if you like to draw channels on the chart if you like to use fibonacci retracements if you like to use pitchforks etc etc you will find it all in the tool section and you'll want to learn how to apply each one of these i'll show you a horizontal line on the chart real quick which is how i actually uh, apply my pivot points which is what you're looking at here i label them by support and pivot level so i know exactly what they are this is how to look when you add something brand new and you can actually go in change the name of it change the price where it's located so you don't have to physically drag it around the chart you can specifically place that line exactly where you want it and change the color if you got different areas that you want to keep track of like I do and I'll show you a lot of people like to ask how to draw the Fibonacci retracement you would simply select it you start uh, if you're dragging from the top down you start at the top if you're dragging from the bottom up you start at the bottom so I'm gonna take 
a Fibonacci dot, place it up here, and I'm gonna drag it all the way down here. And if you're looking up here, there's actually a window that zooms in so you can see even better exactly where you're dragging that dot if you want to try to get it perfectly on the bottom of a candle that's how you do that you look at that window the zoomed in for you place that fib wherever you want it and boom you got your fibonacci retracement now and if i wanted to customize it i could change the color change the levels Etc. Etc. We'll get into that on more advanced, in detail videos. This is the basic stuff. So, last option down here at the bottom on the left is your time frame window. That's just going to allow you to switch time frames on whatever chart you have selected. But once again, you could just simply select the time frame you want on each chart, rather than having to come over here and hit that option option on. Um, button on the left hand side so your trade terminal is selected you're going to see all of your open trades displayed down here and you'll be able to press the price actually touch the price to pull up the trade uh, icon but instead of entering a new order when you touch the price it's going to pull up your open order so you'll have the option to close that. And this is another thing I really, really love about this iPad is the fact that if I'm trying to time an entry or an exit, I can have my finger over here on the entry button or I can select the price on my trade and then have my finger over here on the close out trade button. And as I watch the price action play out on the chart without having to switch back Back and forth from anything I can close that order or enter that order while I'm still watching the charts and also you'll be able to tap stop loss or take profit if you want to modify the trade while it's still open so touching the trade down here in these windows would give you different options over here on your uh, trade display I'll actually give you a preview of that so we just entered a buy not that i did any analysis that said we should be in a buy but uh notifications all over the place entered this buy if i wanted to monitor for the close i simply touch the price as i did there it's going to bring out my close option and as this goes into a loss I can stop it. If it goes into profit, I can close it with profit. That would actually turn to a different color, I believe, or at least say close with profit. And I would be able to close my profits immediately while I'm still watching the charts. Now, when I take the trade terminal away, if I wanted to go ahead and add a stop loss or a target profit to this trade now, I would touch it down here. And now I have my modify window up. I can come in here and add a stop loss, add a take profit, modify the trade, and we're good to go. So that's trade orders. Of course, you can come down here, hit your history to see what your pass has been like. A mailbox, any messages from MT4 are going to be down here. News section, um, I haven't seen any news populate this. There may be a way to actually customize that to get economic data down there. Uh, your journal is just going to show what you've been up to uh, computer journal-wise. And then, of course, the about, you can turn on your notifications i have news enabled and it's still not working so maybe that's just an ipad thing uh, you can actually lock your screen if you don't want any changes to be made and that's about it so i mean i really hope this video was helpful i got a message on one of my videos earlier today there was a guy that said am i the only person that can't use mt4 on ipad pro uh, I hope I did this video 
just for you just so you know whoever that was and when you guys leave comments not only do i interact with you guys but i respond if i see a need for something that needs to be explained or shown a little bit better i'll go ahead and record a video for you guys so i appreciate your time today you see that ghost trade just went into profit so Maybe we'll get an opportunity to see that close out actually switch over over here on the trade execution tab. Close with profit for 10 cents. So we'll take that. Oh, never mind. I missed it. It can happen just that quick. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. That way, every time I drop a new video, you see how I'm getting these notifications up there? It's because I hit the bell icon on somebody else's YouTube channel. And whenever they upload a new video, I get notifications on my tablet, my phone, and even on the web browser. So that's how you guys can keep up with my new videos. Hope you enjoy. Hit the like button if you enjoy and then leave a comment in the comment section let me know how i did if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer them connect with me on facebook instagram twitter i'm happy to help you guys out if you need instructions and stay tuned good luck with your trading